mommies, you are fan freaking fantastic. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Don't let anybody ever take away from your greatness. Capish? Mwah. I love you. This video is for any mother raising a young man, a young king, a young god. It's very imperative that you get him around strong masculine male role models. Okay? All right, so this video is dedicated to you all. I put together 10 bullet points that I want to share with you, just some tips um, that'll be beneficial for him. So I have it on my phone here, so I'm going to jump right into it. Okay. So first off, teach him how to have self-control. There's a cause and there's effect to everything that we do in life. Okay. There's consequences for good, for bad. I tell my... 15 year old son all the time think before you speak you can have a million different thoughts running around in your head um but if you say the wrong thing to the wrong person for example authority figures like a police officer okay that could have deadly consequences okay so you always want to use your mind you always want to think about what you say before you speak consequences there's cause effect everything you do they must know that. Drill down on that. Okay? Self-control. Number two, it's up to them to learn how to maintain their physical health. They have to learn how to eat right so that their immune systems are always up to par. One day they're going to have a family. They're going to have to lead. They're going to have to be responsible for. So they have to be physically healthy in order to do that. Not just physically healthy either, because you have to be mentally healthy as well, spiritually healthy. Now, while you're teaching him this, you know, you can be on your learning journey as well. Y'all can learn together. Y'all can learn and grow together. So let him know he has to maintain that physical health. Okay, so that's concept or tip number two. Okay. Number three, he has to learn how to maintain his finances. He has to have a healthy relationship with money. He has to learn how to budget, how to save, how to invest the money that he does get. Okay? Make him understand that it's never okay to be without an income. Again, this goes back to the man being head of household and things like that. He has to um, learn that by nature, this is not by no one's opinion, but by nature, he is to be a protector and a provider, okay? So even as a preteen, as a, um, a young man coming into his own manhood, he needs to understand that it's never okay not to be without an income. It could be passive income. It could be active income, but he has to have income. He needs to understand that concept, Okay. All right. So moving on to number four, he must maintain reliable transportation. A man has to have reliable transportation. He has to be able to get around. He has to be able to get to work. He has to be able to get his family to and from, you know, if it's the grocery store, if it's doctor's appointments, um, things like that. So he has to learn that as a man, he has to maintain reliable transportation. Okay. And added um, extra benefits, bonuses, you know, if you can get him around a mechanic to where he can learn how to do his own oil changes, to where he can learn how to change his own brakes, you know, he can save money. Um, and that capacity with learning how to take care of his own vehicle, and it could be another um, side hustle for him as well by learning how to, to take care of vehicles, you know, for other people. Okay? All right, so moving on to number six. He must always maintain self-respect and hold himself in high self-esteem, okay? So you all can sit down together and figure out how to get that information conveyed to him to come across. You know, he can read, he can, um, you know, like I said, be around people, um, strong masculine men who are making a difference, who are out there, you know, raising their families, who are respectable, who, you know, um, do things like that, 
Okay, so you all can sit down and figure out how to go over that. But that's something that he definitely needs to learn. He's got to have self-respect. When he respects himself, he will respect everyone around him. Okay? All right. Number seven, he must learn to be accountable for all of his actions, the things that he do. And the things that he is supposed to do, but did not do. He has to learn that he has to be accountable. Okay. Number eight, he must learn to physically protect himself. So he can start out boxing with the neighborhood boys. He could take a self-esteem, I mean, not self-esteem, excuse me, a self-defense class. He can take a boxing class. Um, those are just some examples of some extra ways to, to learn how to do that. However, y'all decide he needs to learn what he's capable of. You know, um, a lot of times when boys have never been into a fight, sometimes they can be afraid of fighting because they've never taken a hit before. They've never taken a punch before and they don't know, you know, what to expect. So it can be fearful. It can be intimidating. So he does you know, at, at a younger age, need to learn, you know, what his strengths are and, you know, how to be able to defend himself. He's, again, by nature, by law of nature, he is to be a protector and to be a provider. So he has to learn that. Okay. Number nine, maintaining good hygiene practices. Woo! Some men, grown men, still haven't quite mastered that one. But yeah, you want to talk to him and teach him very early on, you know, showering, self-care, grooming, being neat, being tidy, things like that. You know, ironing and, you know, keeping his clothes good and keeping his body smelling fresh. And, you know, a lot of what he puts into his body goes back to the health again. But um, a lot of what you put into your body, you know, makes a, a tremendous difference, too. So let him know he's got to maintain good hygiene practices. OK. And number 10, last but not least, teach him he must always strive to better himself on any level. He has to learn that he has to advance himself more today than he did yesterday, however big or small. Every little bit counts, okay? If it's reading another book, if it's picking up another skill set, if it's being more grateful today than he was yesterday, just every day strive to advance himself just a little bit more. Get in touch and stay in touch with his higher self. A lot of us are scared to tap in to our greatness. If we actually spent a little bit more time we could go a lot further. So let him know as a man, it's his duty, it's his responsibility. Always strive for greatness. If you're not perfect today, we're not really striving for per perfection, but we want to be the best versions of ourselves. okay? So let him know that's the goal. Today, he did good, very good in his actions. Tomorrow, let's raise the bar a little bit higher, okay? All right, y'all let me know what y'all thought about that. Like, share, comment, most definitely subscribe. Ladies, mommies, I love y'all. Y'all are doing excellent jobs, okay? Again, don't let nobody take away from y'all greatness because y'all doing it. And I know it's very hard. It's very challenging to raise a young man. <sighs> Again, hats off, kudos, props, respect, love. A lot of men will say, and a lot of women will say too, a woman can't teach a man how to be a man. But if she has no choice, I hope this video at least gave y'all a little bit more of what you can kind of hone in on to at least build his character, to lay the foundation. You know what I'm saying? He's going to have to pick it up and, you know, build that full structure later in life as he gets older. But at least you laid the foundation you laid the groundwork and hopefully some of this information, you know, will help y'all. So again, I rocks with y'all. I love y'all. I hope y'all rocks with me too. All right. Have a good night.